Hello, everyone. I am Mr. William Afton, but you can call me Purple Guy. I am here inside this spring bunny suit, spending my eternal life inside it, suffering in pain and agony. I may be trapped and cursed, but I can never die. I did kill those fucking children. I did kill my partner's daughter named Charlie outside the first Freddy's location in 1984. Guys, I lost two of my children. One of them was my little girl named Elizabeth Afton. She was killed by my own creation that I made for her but it was too dangerous for her to be around her. But now her soul is inside Circus Baby. I found out because the robot's eyes used to be blue. But now the eyes are green. Then I lost my youngest son who was killed by accident by my partner's robot named Fred Beer in 1983. I realized it was my eldest son Michael who killed him. I told his dumb ass to leave him alone. But he did not listen to me. I did not deserve the pain before I killed those bastards. But I wanted people to suffer what I went through. I felt so damn accomplished. One day in 1984, it was late hours at Freddy's, and I saw five stupid children alone in the arcade machines. I had a plan of becoming immortal. I used one of the old spring lock suits named Spring Bunny. The suits back in 1983 were retired due to spring lock failures. I forgot to mention that I caused two employees to die in two of the suits that were assigned to them. I still see their shadows sometimes when I sleep. In my opinion, I fucking hated those two employees. That is why I killed them. They were rude and complete as horse. I then used the spring bunny suit to run the children's trust and trap them in one of the safe rooms. What is a safe room, you ask? A safe room is used for emergencies and private meetings only. I used the safe room because of three things. One, the safe room has no security cameras. Two, the safe room is not programmed in the robot's digital map layout when they cannot enter this room. And lastly, it is quiet enough to kill those little shits. I killed three boys and two girls that night. My victims' names were Jeremy, Susie, Gabriel, Frit, and Cassidy. I then placed the bodies of the children inside Freddy and his friends before cleaning the evidence of the scene of the crime. This is some first 48 hour episode. Andy. If you see this video and you want to be inspired by what crimes I committed, please make an episode of this shit. After I left the place, I was apprehended by police the following day at my house. But I was a lucky bastard for getting away with murder due to lack of evidence against me. And because I framed the evening cleaning guy for the murders and faked the evidence, I caused Henry to shut down the first Freddy's location at the end of 1984. But I lost hope of gaining eternal life. My plan failed when I did not know that it was successful. Hello everyone, I'm Henry, the creator of Fazbear Entertainment. I'm indeed the partner of my old friend William. I did not understand why he would have one purpose in life to kill and use children's innocent souls for his elaborate plans and twisted desire of immortality. He caused many pain to families and even me. He killed who knows a numerous amount of children in my establishments. Then when we opened our first Freddy's location in 1984, he killed my only child named Charlie. I could not imagine why would my best friend and business partner kill my daughter. I created an animaltronic to protect her at all costs, but she was murdered outside of the establishment and was found in the back alley next to a dumpster the following morning. Izzy is a fucking monster who I had working for me for years. He deserves to die. He is a fucking discreet to society. Henry, you motherfucker. I was stupid enough to fall for your trap. But you forgot that I'll always come back. I am a digital virus and I merged with Vanessa who is my bitch and my caregiver. I had imagination quotas with her. 
It is weird. But what can you do if you do not have a body yet to occupy such passion for Cortis and Pono sites which I use Venusa to click on every Pono site before my consciousness goes to sleep and let Venusa rest for another day of scams and suffering to other victims of my evilness. I love to watch Pono like any elderly fucker. I hook off. Wait. I don't have a human body yet. Fuck. I do however look at porno sites and vids. I make Venus go to strip clubs every Wednesdays. I make her take lettuce to the strip clubs. I make her go fit and have a wide butt. She is my best selection for entertainment. Best choice I have ever made in my years of evil. Also, in the weekends, I make Venus a post nudes on OnlyFans.com. She is a masterpiece in the platform. I make her say naughty shit, and I make her eat a lot to keep the viewers coming. She currently made 1.40 million dollars on OnlyFans.com. I am never going to trade her for another woman ever. She is so entertaining. You guys should try it. It is fucking awesome. Fuck. You ball or my old bitching wife. She treats me better than you. Before I go kill more children, please like and subscribe to this channel for more vids, and go to community for any talk suggestions of any character for fun time Unity 19 can create it, and upload it on YouTube. Have a good day or night, and see you people later. Goodbye.